In this video, we're going to learn all about the snack bar and toast. Oh, I'm getting hungry just talking about it. Um, but this is not something that you can eat. This is the thing that you bing, pumps up from the bottom of your page and you can show a little message to the user. Um, we're going to see how to implement that in your Xamarin Forms application. Tune in. Here we can see the end result of the thing that we're about to see in this video. So this is going to be the snack bar and toast sample. Um, and here I just implemented one button which says show me the goodies. So whenever I do, you can see here at the bottom of this page, a, a snack bar comes up. Um, it's a snack bar because it has an action button. Um, and whenever you click that, an action is triggered. So that is cool. Or you can do show me the goodies and it will just have a timeout of 10 seconds and it will just go away then if you don't do anything. So that makes it cool for these timeouts out scenarios, whatever you want to maybe undo an action. And we're also going to see the toast, which is basically a snack bar, but without the action button. And that is what we're going to learn in this video, how to implement that into your Xamarin Forms application. Hold up, hold up. Before we go any further, I have two new members that I have to thank for joining this channel as a member. Vern Kennedy and Tien Vu. I don't know if I butchered that name. I probably did. So sorry, but I'm still very thankful for joining my channel. And of course, all the other members as well. For a small fee, you can join this channel as a member and support me for all the things that I'm putting out here. Um, you can see the videos, for instance, before they are released to the public. So that is pretty cool. And there are some other things as well, like a shout out in this video. So thank you so much. If you consider joining a member, click that little join button on my channel and see what it's all about. Now let's go quickly check out how to implement that snack bar and toast. Now let's have a look at how to implement all of this goodness. So here we are in Visual Studio 2019 for Mac. Um, you can see on the left a file new Xamarin Forms application, just as you always do um, see in the rest of my videos. And on the right, you can see running it on the iOS simulator. Now this also works on Android and also on UWP. Um, and also, of course, Visual Studio Windows, all the things, but I'm using this. So let's update that title and let's make it snack bar and toast sample and save that and with hot reload you can see it automatically updating on the running app that is xaml hot reload working for you so that is pretty cool now the thing i'm doing now is not supported so <laughs> with hot reload so um, I'm, I'm gonna have to stop the application anyway i'm going into my solution explorer right click on the solution level and say manage nuget packages and i'm going to search for the xamarin.community community toolkit typing is hard and there we go. And I've clicked this little include pre-releases box. So it will show up with one, two, zero, pre two, which is the latest cutting edge version at the time of recording. And I'm going to add that to our project, actually all three. So the shared one, Android one, iOS one, and let's click okay. And we probably need to accept the license for this. There we go. And I'm going to use the pre version. I'll get back to that near the end of the video uh, because it has some cool new feature um, because it's already um, the snack bar and the toast is already available to you in um, 1.1.0. So the stable package at the time of recording, but 1.2.0 brings you uh, some new goodness that I will be showing you later on. Now we'll just wait for this packages to install. Um, and while we do that, actually, let me just start removing all these labels right here. And I'm going to add a button to actually, you know, um, trigger that thing. Let's give it a little text. Show me the goodies. And I'm going to add a clicked handler right here. And there we go. It generated it for us. So there's that. If I save this, then the button comes up. Show me the goodies. Um, it doesn't do anything right now because that is something that we still need to implement. Now, let's go to our code behind from our main page. So our main page, xaml.cs. In our shared project, here we go. And the first thing I'm going to do here at the top is add using Xamarin.community toolkit. And this is going to be a bit weird, maybe. Um, extensions, there we go, because it's implemented as an extension method. Um, so let's go to our button clicked handler. We got this set up. So now the IntelliSense can help us set this up. And actually, I'm going to say this. So this is our page, right? I'm doing this on the main page. This dot 
Um, is it show? No, this is show pop-up. Okay, here is display. I've got pop-ups in another video, so go check that out as well. Um, here we're talking about display, snack bar, and toast. So these are two separate things, and they kind of do the same thing. Toast is more like um, a, a simple message showing it to the user um, with no actions. Um, so it's just, you know, informational to the user, like, hey, this is happening. Um, and a snack bar can also have also a button that can actually do something. Now, depending on the platform, you can show only one button. I think only one button is supported on Android because the toast and a snack bar originate a little bit on the, the Android platform. Um, but on iOS and maybe UWP, you can have multiple buttons, but be aware that only one button might show. Um, let me implement a simple toast thing right here. And it's async. So technically, we need to make this async and then um, await this thing right here. And we got two overloads for this. We got one with the toast options, um, where you can completely customize all the things in this toast. And also for the snack bar, it's more or less the same thing. Um, and we have a little simpler one that just takes a message and you can override how long it will show. By default, it's three seconds, but you can make that a little bit longer. So let's go for this simple one first. And I'm going to say, hello world. And let's make this uh, 10 seconds just so can, you can really have a really good look at it. Um, so I'm going to have to stop the application here and rerun it. And it should come back up um, pretty quickly. And then whenever we click the button, um, we are going to see that toast popping up on the page. Um, and it's a toast, right? And I think it got the name. That's that's the thing I made up. And I think it's pretty true. Let's let's find out. Do you know the story why it's called a toast? Uh, link something to me in the comments. Although um, while I'm talking about the comments and linking, I've noticed that some comments disappear whenever you put a link in them. So um, please do not put links in them maybe because it gets removed by the YouTube spam algorithm. Um, just send me the link in a different way whenever we get to talk. Uh, but anyway, I think the toast, you know, it because it pops out of the toaster, and then it goes back in, right? So it comes from the bottom, and then um, it, it goes back in. Well, anyway, I've talked through all the time that's needed to get this app back up and running. So I'm going to click here, show me the goodies. And I think I need to remove myself here. So let me get myself out of the picture here, show me the goodies. And here you can see all the way down the bottom, you can see Hello World. Um, so it's not styled. I think if you're doing this on Android, it's styled a little bit nicer because it's black and it has rounded cor corners. And, and it's because again, it's, it's, you know, it's something that originates on the Android platform. But we can definitely achieve that styling on iOS as well. So um, let's see how we can make that customization happen. But let me just keep this in the picture for now. And we're going to work with those display toast options. So let me get the options right here. Actually, let me switch to a snack bar too, because it's not that different, um, except for the action. So maybe first before we do that, let's go to the display um, snack bar async, and then we need to do a couple of extra things. So here we have the same kind of concept, whoops, async. There we go. Here we have kind of the same concept. We have a simple overload with a message, but now we also have to specify an action button and an action that is triggered from that button. And again, the duration. Uh, and we have the snack bar options to make it a little bit more customizable. So let's go with the um, the, the simple one first. So we're going to say hello as the message, um, say OK for the button. And then with the function, I'm going to do this in line, but you can also do, you know, um, a separate event or something for this. Um, and let's make this display alert. Um, alert. Um, clicked. And again, an OK button. So there we go. And does this work? Do I need brackets in here? Probably. There we go for the action. And then I need the semicolon here. Is working. Not all code paths return. Oh, so I need to return something. Okay. Return. There we go. And now the duration is not okay because this needs to be a time span. Well, let's just keep it the default duration then. So I need to, I've made changes in code. So I need to rerun this again. And let me get myself out of the picture here so you can actually see what's going on. And now we should see um, a, a, a similar thing, but now it has a button on the side, right? So whenever I click that, um, was I too late? 
there we go you will see that this alert is coming up so you can you know trigger all kinds of code um, when that button is clicked so that's pretty cool now let's make this a little bit more advanced um, so let's see the snack bar options um, options is new snack bar options i think uh, this is in a different namespace, so let me see if I can import that with IntelliSense using Xamarin Community Toolkit UI view options. There we go. Um, so then that is implemented. And let me initialize that with a couple of the properties. So let's see what's in here. We can specify the actions. So here we can have the different actions. So that will be the different buttons in our um, snack bar thing. We can set the background color. We can set the duration. We can set it right to left so that it shows for, you know, whenever you're using it with a right to left um, language. Um, you can set the message options, uh, which we'll look at. Um, so you can set the message, the color, the font, and you can get the results from this as well. Um, um, you can get a Boolean if the action button is clicked yes or no. Um, so you can also get some feedback that way. Now let's have a look at the message options first is new message options. Um, and here we can set the font, we can set the foreground, we can set the actual message and some padding. Um, so let's set the foreground to color dot white and let's set the message to did you subscribe to my channel yet well did you did you subscribe um, okay so now we got the message i'll skip over the font because that needs some extra setup um, and the padding as well let's see how this looks first so what else did we have the background color so let's set that to color dot black so that it well let's actually um, set it to the color here so that it matches this nice style there we go color dot from hex here we go and what else do we got um, duration duration let's set that to um, 10 or is this a time span again oh this is a time span okay time span from seconds uh, let's make that 10 there we go and what else did we have the actions okay so let's get the actions. so then i'm going to make a what type of this um, is new what is it what is it what type it is um snack bar options dot action it's a snack bar action options okay so var actions is new snack bar action options there we go and we're going to initialize that um with let's see an action so we can get the action right here uh, gets her set to the action action is uh, there we go again let's set the dial display alert um, warning subscribed 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 there we go well let's make this not warning but thank you subscribed now Okay, there we go. So that is our action. Uh, what else do we have? We can also set the background color and the foreground color of this action. So you can make that, you know, uh, make it more stand out like a button. Uh, I'm not going to do that for now. And of course, the text is, um, let's make it no. So it will all come together. And here we are now going to say actions. There we go. Oh, this should be a list, right? So uh, because you can have multiple in some scenarios, new, I'll just make a simple kind of list. So this initializes um, um, an, an, an array because it needs to be an I enumerable. This creates an array and it will figure out what type it needs to be uh, because I just put in this, this type. So it will figure that out. And now we can say this displays snack bar async and I can now remove all of this and I can just say options um, and it will work just as well. So let me stop this and rerun it again. And whenever we do, let me while I remember this, get myself out of the screen so you can actually see what's going on. We can see show me goodies and we can see that um, you can see, do, did you subscribe to my channel yet? No. So let's click that and thank you, you subscribed right now. So you can shoot an alert, you can do, actually do something um, and that is pretty cool. Now the no should probably have a different color because it didn't really show up that nicely, but you can see it's pretty easy to style this a cool way so that it shows up in your app um, nicely, which is pretty, pretty cool. Now, the one thing that I wanted to show you, which is new in version 1.2.0, is that you can anchor this to a certain um, control. 
So before, in the current stable version, you would have to show snack bars and toasts with a page, but now it's done on a visual element. So I can now not only say um, this dot display snack bar, but I can say um, actually the sender. So the sender is going to be the button, right? So I'm going to say sender has visual element. And I can call display snack bar on that. And by doing that, it will automatically figure out where the visual element is on the screen and where it should show it, should show it on top or at the bottom. Um, and it will figure out how to do that. So if I do this now, you can see that it does it on the actual button. So it can anchor it to um, a certain visual element and all the rest is just working the same. Um, so, you know, you can, you can, really pin it to a certain control and make it show up nicely there um, so that it's, you know, you can maybe use it more like a tooltip, which is um, pretty awesome, I think. And that is how you can get started with the snack bar and the toast. So the toast is just much simpler. Um, I'm not going to go over all of it. I'm sure you can figure that out yourself. The options are much simpler. I think it's basically exactly the same stuff that you can see here, um, minus the actions because it cannot have any actions, but all the rest should be working the same. Now you've learned all about how to implement that sweet, sweet snack bar and toast into your Xamarin Forms application and even how to anchor it to a certain control. So with that, I'm just going to ask you once more to please like this video if you've actually liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already because I think I've given you some subtle hints, but um, you never know. And of course, I will be seeing you for my next video. Keep coding.